What's up, fellas? It is a great, great day for working out. It is also a great day to answer some of your questions, which is exactly what I do here every Monday. I pick the top three questions from the comment box below, answer them directly from me to you, you to me. This is our time to uh, train our minds. That's why it's called Mind Food Monday. Winner of the best question gets free access to my 80-20 results course, which is how to get workout results simplified, hence the 80-20. Uh, I feel the biggest problem or challenge that a lot of times you can face with fitness and getting results or working out and getting results is there's just so much info out there and a lot of it's trash. It just uh, can be frustrating and really leads you in circles. So let's clear some of that out now and jump into your... All right, Souls Not Soldiers wants to know, what effect does alcohol have on bulking? If I were to drink at night, having gone to the gym that day, would it sort of erase any progress that would have been made? Yeah, right. What does alcohol do? Well... You know, not to get into the science of it, but obviously it's not helpful to building muscles. Um, you know, the, the best way I view it and, and to think about it is kind of like in the water video, we were talking about how when you're doing everything right, working out, eating good food, your body is kind of turning into a muscle factory. And so that's how, you know, you're putting on mass. Uh, when it comes to drinking alcohol, it's essentially like someone coming in and throwing a wrench somewhere in that factory and everything just stops. Uh, it doesn't necessarily go backwards and start losing muscle, but it definitely puts everything on hold and, and they've got to fix the wrench and take it out and then you got to start back up again and, and get going and, and get the process moving. So, you know, that's kind of how I view it. You know, if you're if you're working out hard and you drink, you know, once a week and you don't go crazy, you just have a couple beers or whatever, um, it's not going to derail or end all progress, but it's certainly going to put, you know, it's like you're pressing pause. Um, so, you know, just keep that in the back of your mind doesn't mean, again, it's, it's all about coming back to your goals. You know, if you're just trying to work out and stay in, sh in a decent shape and um, you're willing to put more time, um, then, then you can do that. Uh, again, it's not that it cancels everything, it's just it kind of lengthens. You know, let's say you were, you were on track to be getting a six pack in six weeks by throwing that wrench in, you know, twice two of those weeks because you decided to drink now 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 it's eight weeks it takes you to get the six pack you know this is just a general example hope that helps all right daniel george 1001 would like to know hey ryan my question is related to bulking to build muscle and cutting to get lean how do you know which one you should do first i believe that my body is in the middle somewhere so i could choose to do one or the other but how do i know which one to do thanks and keep up the good work all right well you know, there is no right answer to this. It's whatever one you feel like you're going to follow through with. Um, you know, I hate to give you, you know, a lot of times the answer can be really simple and you're like, oh no, it's got to be harder than that. And it's really not. It's the answer is just do something. Action is most important. So if you, if, if it's summertime or wintertime and you feel like, you know, it's a good time to bulk up, then go ahead and bulk up. If you feel like you really would like to cut down, um, then go on a cutting program. The, the, bigger thing that you need to focus on is committing and following through and persistence and teach yourself that. So pick one of them, you know, whether you just flip a coin, I don't care, just whatever one you pick, end up doing it and, and follow through with it. That will give you a greater lesson than, you know, worrying about which one is the right one to do. All right, hope that helps. All right, C Drive one asks, Ryan, when and how many times a week should I do cardio? Okay, well, the answer to this question is you have to you need to go watch the uh, how to get the body you want videos I have part one and two and it talks about goals strategies tactics and tools and and how those all intermix in getting you results because the question you're asking me is a tactic tactical question right how many times a week should I do cardio and without knowing what you're trying to accomplish there's no way that I can answer that question and do you any you know and help you at all so because if you were trying to cut weight you know I would say all right well you probably need to do cardio four to five times a week four to six times a week um, it, but it's also going to depend on where you are physically now if you're trying to build muscle maybe or you know you're trying to bulk then I might say well you know you really don't need to do much cardio at all if you're just trying to stay fit then two to three times you see you know there's tons of answers here so the but I don't want to leave you with nothing. So go watch those videos and, and see what I'm talking about, about how you need to have goals set first and then you structure programs and choose how many times you're going to work out and, and cardio based on the goal that you're moving to and trying to accomplish. All right? Hope that helps. All right, fellas, that'll do it for another episode of Mind Food Monday. Souls, not soldiers.
I like that name. You are the winner this week for access to my 8020 course. So put a comment in the comment box below. Get y'all set up with that. Everybody else, have a good week. Lift hard. Put your question in for next week. And I will see you then. Take care.